What's up guys, it's your boy Junior, aka Semi, and welcome to Semi 2 Tech, the channel that brings you everything from product reviews, tech reviews, app reviews, all the way to live streaming, and live gaming, and everything else in between. So if you like all that stuff and more, then stay tuned to this channel. Before we get started with this great new video, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and once the subscribe button has been pressed, click on the bell next to it, and select all. So you get all notifications when every time I drop a new video or go live. Also, don't forget to hit that like button right here and also share the video to all your social media platform so nobody ever miss a thing from us. And also guys, remember I do have a website you can check out. Come over here, go to semi2.tech and I'll bring you right here to this page. Look at this great layout of webpage. Just for you guys, you can do so much stuff here. Come and check it out. All right, guys, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate all the love and support that you guys show the channel. Remember, want to continue supporting the channel, all you got to do is like all my videos, share my videos, comment out all my videos, and if you still haven't done so, hit that subscribe button, enable bell notification, so you get notified every time I drop great videos like this one or whenever I go live. Because trust me, guys, you never ever want to miss a thing. All right, so today's video, we're gonna be talking about another great website to play all your emulator games. So yes, this goes out to all my retro people out there that love playing retro games, such as Tetris, Mortal Kombat, Super Mario, Mega Man, any Pokemon games, any Silent the Hedgehog games, Zelda, all those great games back in the day we loved to play that wasn't required to have online access where you can play for hours and never worry about it. This is a great site for you. All right, so this is why I show you a lot of other websites with this same concept it has retro games and everything. Um, they were all good. This one's good as well too, but this one has a little downfall on it, which I didn't like. That's why I don't use this one as much. Uh, I'll show you while I'm talking in the video, but yeah, everything on this thing works great, except for a couple of things, but no problem. So I really want to show you this website because it's another great website to watch all and play all your games guys and simple you no know, hardware required to install on your system you can even play this on your ipad tablet phone whatever you want guys that's the good thing about it. you don't need no external device all you need is a browser and that's it if you want to use an external device the only thing i can suggest to get is a remote i'm using the ps5 remote you can use the xbox remote any version one two three or four for Xbox, you can use any other versions, 363, regular um, Xbox, you can use the Xbox One or even the Xbox X or S. Simple as that, you can use any other remote. I tried using it with the Lunar remote, but I ran into some issues, like, I guess we have to set it up in the settings, uh, but it wasn't working that well with me. Some of the buttons worked, but the, the actual directional pad was not working for me for some reason. Don't know why, but it's okay. Not worry about it. I have plenty of remotes. I have the Luna remote. I have my NVIDIA Shield gamepad remote. I got my Xboxes, all, all of them. I got all my PlayStation remotes, so I'm I'm good. I'm good on remotes, so I don't have to worry about it. And you can even use this great remote right here, uh, which a lot of people like to use, which is right here, this Bit8 remote right here. As you see, it's a Super Nintendo shaped remote. This one works great. You can plug it in, or if your computer has Bluetooth, connect to the Bluetooth. That'll be good for tablets if you want to use it on a tablet. That'll be great because you know all tablets have Bluetooth connection. Connect it and you'll be set, guys. Simple, simple, simple. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shoot myself down and show the website and where to go so you can play all these great games. All right. So let's go and bring myself down. There we go. And the website you're gonna be going to is gonna be called myemulator.online. That is the URL and the name of the website as well, guys. Very simple, not hard to remember. Just go my emulator, you play my emulator games, basically online, so you put dot online, that's it. Very simple, not much, I don't, I don't even have to put it in the description, but I will just so you can have it, but very, very simple. All right, so here's the website, very simple. As you can see, it's very plain, it's not too flashy lights or anything, it just has the posters for the games, and it's a little bit of text. Okay, I, I know I know I did mention that there's some flaw on this that I don't like. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat because I don't want to forget later on. If you want to search for a game, it's not possible. All right, you see right here it has Mario Party 3 it's on Nintendo 64. We have it there. You know we have Super Mario there. All right, so if I click here, if I try to type in a, a game, let's say Mario. I'm just gonna type in Mario. 
all right it doesn't find it if I do it again uh, I'm gonna do it about the uh, backslash nothing pops up uh, so you think it's just not Mario I'm gonna put Tetris I swear I'm nothing comes up uh, and I'll show you that has Tetris and I'm gonna try Mega Man all right nothing comes up the search feature on here does not work don't know why but it's all right you just have to browse through that's the reason I don't use this wipe too much because I can't search for something but if I want to play something I can find real quick I can do it here because the latency on here for the remote to the game is very very minimal it's barely anything I don't think you even see anything it's faster than the other website the other websites you have a little bit of latency when you're trying to do something that like you move forward and back real quick you'll, you'll see that it doesn't do it as fast as your hands are doing it but on here when you're doing it with the remote it does as fast as your hand does it. so it's like if you're actually playing the actual Nintendo system the Sega Genesis system or even the Super Nintendo or any other system they have listed here so that's the big thing I like about this website so let's go back to the main screen I'm gonna go back to the main screen here on uh, at first you see you got all these categories here you got your Sega Genesis over here you got your Neo Geo you got Nintendo 64 regular Nintendo Game Boy Advance Nintendo DS and your Super Nintendo there you got all these systems here you can play if you scroll down you got all these top games that people are playing right here you can just click on it and start playing it or you can click on all Mario games all Pokemon games all Sonic the Hedgehog games all Zelda games and all Kirby games so let's click on all the Mario games to see how many Mario games they have and I'll show you everything every system when it comes to Super Mario stuff look at all this right here look at all this and this is the first page there's a second page as well if I click on second page boom you can get all these Super Mario games as well guys you got everything here for Super Mario if you're a Super Mario fanatic this is a great site that I have because it has a separate tab just for Super Mario games and like I said we typed in Mario to see if any Mario games pop up you saw nothing popped up, but you see how many games we have here for Mario. So that's the downside of this. The search feature does not work. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the main system. And if you want to see all the Pokemon games, you click on all the Pokemon games here. Boom. There you guys go. Um, so this is like for some people that actually like specific game genres. This is perfect because it has these genres here. Like this. Check out the Zelda game. I know I, know I paid like two or three of them. But look, look how many Zelda games they have. They have 11 Zelda games right here alone. These are all the Zelda games for every system. 64, Game Boy, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Um, they got Metro Zelda. I didn't even know they had this type of game. I never heard of that game. But you got all these Zelda games right here, guys. Okay, this is awesome. All right, so let's go back to the main screen right here. So let's say you find the game, whether you search through the genres. Oh, before I like talking about genre, I just show you this genre here. But let me click on one of the system genres so you can see how it looks. So if I click on regular Nintendo right here, click on it, you see all everything is alphabet order, so you gotta browse through it. But you get all these games here, guys. Look at all these games here, and there's 10 pages of a Nintendo games. So if I click on Super Nintendo, you get all the Super Nintendo games here. Very, very simple. And there's another 10 pages of Super Nintendo games here. Very, very simple to play, guys. It's simple. So, what do you do when you find a game you want to play? So, I'm going to go back to the main screen. I'm going to click on one of the games. I'm going to click on Super Mario, the first one. The very first Super Mario. I'm going to click on this one. And once you click on the game, it's going to be loaded up with the screen here. All you have to do is load game. Plug in your remote first. I'm Like I said, I'm using a PS5 remote. Uh, I'm going to And then once you load it up, click on load game. It will take you to a second screen. It's gonna play an ad. Sometimes they'll play an ad, sometimes it won't. But if it's ad, you gotta wait for 30 seconds for the ad to disappear. Or click on the X. You start the game. And you see, this is the ad right here. It shows you five seconds for the ad. You give it a few seconds for it to go. And once it does that, you skip ad. And this is this tells you how everything's set up on the remote. Uh, you just gotta follow the instructions, like follow on here the best you can. And then once you're all ready, click on the screen. And they all set. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick player one. As you see, it says my wireless control attached to gamepad remote. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, start. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start it. So now, as you see, I'm moving forward and I'm jumping. See? You guys can see. And like I said, the latency on here is none. 
which is awesome I like this and it's it, it's a, it's like if I'm playing the regular Nintendo system on me right now which is awesome there's no latency no nothing because I know when I play the other retro games even the games on the Nvidia Shield there is some remote latency which I hate so much especially on a Super Mario game because I play it some time to time just to reenact my childhood again I play it and it, and, it, and it, there's bad latency on it like when I want to jump it doesn't jump the exact time I want to jump and everything and then simple as that guy which this works great the latency there's none it's on the room at least on the remote you know I haven't played any other games play a few games and all the games I play there is no latency at all guys basically that's it with this website guys I showed you how the gameplay works showed you with the remote connected show you how to find all the games yes again to recap there is no search feature on here unfortunately that's the bad part about it so you want to find a certain game you actually have to go to it remember what system is on and actually look for the game through the browsing thing that's the only bad thing about it but other than that the system works if, oh one thing I did want to recap you can put this to full screen you don't have to play like this that ensure the full screen you just go right here these arrows pointing at the opposite direction click on it boom full screen there you go so I can play this in full screen so you guys can start real quick so I'll like, give it a second for it to load but as you can see, I can play it full screen, no problem. And again, with this, you can play this on your iPad, your tablet, your phone, whatever you want to play. Just buy an 8 bit remote and you'll be all set. Look how awesome it is. I can, and full screen, guys. So if I want to put this on the 88 inch screen, I can. <laughs> very, very simple. All right, guys, so let me stop that there. I don't need to play anymore. You guys get the idea how it looks and everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review on this great website. If you did, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure everyone's aware of what we talk about on this channel so they don't miss a thing just like you don't miss a thing. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done so to the end of this video, guys, make sure you get hit that subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time I drop great videos like this one or whenever I go live. Because trust me, guys, you never ever want to miss a thing. And that's it for today, guys. Until next time, this is Junior, aka Semi, signing out from Semi to Tech. Peace.